Okay, I got everything set down. And uh, let's run the 3D Mark 11. See what can I got? Uh, you know that the graphic card and the CPU are overclocked. So let's focus on the frequency setting now. Hope you can see it. Okay. <coughs> it's 4.25 on the CPU and uh, 9200 on the GPU. And if you want to know the temperature, temperature is here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for my voice. The CPU now is. 50 degrees Celsius and the graphic card uh, uh, the primary graphic card is 56 Celsius 57 and the secondary is 51 and let's look at the inside of my case okay let's change your angle This took me three hours to build of this graphic card carbon fiber. Looks very nice. So. Okay. I'll show you some picture of There's something I want to say. Uh, the EVGA GDF uh, 570, the BIOS must limit the GPU core voltage, so I can't hit 1.1 uh, 1 .1 above, so <coughs> I can't overclock to like 1 gigahertz on the GPU. But if you want, you can download some cracked BIOS and, and just refresh the BIOS. But I don't want to do that, it could potentially damage my video card and uh, even I put some I put the back plate on the 70 it's still very very hot so can you imagine how hot it could be if there's no the back plate and the i7 970 is really an impressive CPU it's overclocked so easily. I can get a 4.5 gig uh, stable if I want, and uh, if you have en enough money, you can definitely get a i7 990X, and uh, I think it's easy to overclock to 5 gig. Okay, this is a uh, final test. is loading quite slow than the previous test. But I I uh installed the in, installed the Studio Mark Eleven in my solid state drive, <coughs> so <coughs> kind of reduce the <coughs> loading time. Let's take a look at the temperature. It's finished. Temperature fifty seven for the CPU and the fifty one for GPU forty seven for the uh, next GPU, uh, the water cooling works very fine, uh, very good. And let's take a look at the score. Uh, as the P model, we got uh, 10,735 CD marks. And as my same, I uh, was compare with other machine who, uh, which has sim similar setting and hardware, and only three person include me. 
got this high uh, score. So you know the two five two five seventy with the uh, all the back back plate and uh, wall block is cost me thousand dollars. So it is the almost the same price as you got to original five eighty without all the water water cooling part. But you can overclock the five seventy to like very very good position and uh, at the same time you get a cooler environment in your case so it's very it's worth it I think and uh, if you have any comments just uh, talk to me if you have any questions uh, thank you for watching